Now, people people are all upset that that guy said something. I uh, I I appreciate a challenge. And here's here's a, a, a gem of wisdom that a lot of people really don't understand. And it's made my life a lot better these last two years. And then I'll take another question. Opinions literally don't matter. Like my life has been streamlined, and I'm so. Um, productive because I literally don't care like like I'm not joking like I'm not gonna cry after this live stream I literally don't care what anyone thinks because there's there's two options when someone has an opinion about you there's two options either it's true and you know it's true so if someone says the truth and I know it's true so what that's then it's the truth or it's not true and it doesn't matter that they think it's not true you know what I'm saying people get too hung up over words that's why I'm the realest one as far as like, I really am anti-political correctness. Yeah, I try to be nice and uh, word things properly for sure, but words really don't matter. That's why I like Trump so much because like everybody that doesn't like him, they, they, the only thing they could always reference like, did, should he have said that? And I'm like, probably not, but does it matter that he said it? Like if I say, I'm gonna go get um, a hamburger down the street and then I go and punch 20 people in the face, does it matter that I said I was gonna get 20 hamburgers or does it matter I just punched 20 people in the face? Actions actually matter, words actually don't matter at all and opinions literally don't matter at all. Like opinions literally have no weight whatsoever. So if somebody says I can't dunk a basketball but I can dunk a basketball, does it matter that they think I can't or that I can't hold my own and on a Joe Rogan podcast? It literally holds zero weight in my life and that's why I'm so chill. Because I don't care what anyone else thinks. If I listen to other people's opinions, I'd be a loser. But I'm not a loser because I don't care what anyone else thinks. They told me I couldn't rap. They told me I should have a fallback job. They told me I should do this. They told me I couldn't do this. They told me I couldn't rap about that. They told me not to talk about politics. I never listened to anybody, not in a stubborn way, but nobody knows me as much as I know myself. So if what they were saying is true, I'm very good at appreciating wisdom. If someone blesses me with wisdom, I'm like, you're right. And then I incorporate it into my life. And if somebody blesses me with a terrible opinion, I'm like, you wrong. And to be honest, a lot of the people that have the most opinions, they've never actually done anything. I'm about to drop a new song, most fire song of 2019. I'm not just saying that, but the people that try to tell me what to do, I should probably be telling them what to do. Like the people that are like, Anomaly, you should do this and that. Like I could probably change their whole life and get them six figures if I consulted for them in an hour. Like the people who try to give me opinions should go to my website, legendary.vision, go to the consultation section, email me and pay me a lot of money to change their life and make their life better. Like it's, it's always seems to be that way. It's a pattern. I'm not, I'm not saying it to be boastful. I'm just saying it's always the people that talk the most that do the least like someone's like you should do your videos this way how how well have you done online oh i have 17 video views on my video well do you think someone who got 250 million views and literally like rolled out the format that people have been copying since the 2016 election and literally like trailblazed the way for multiple people do you and you have 10 like do you think your opinion has that much value because it probably doesn't and the people like myself that do a lot we don't talk a lot. I don't announce anything anymore. Like I'm, I'm gonna do a big video, like maybe for a second, but I'm doing 20 videos a day. Point being, words don't really matter. Opinions don't really matter. And people put too much weight into what other people think. I always say as well, like I don't care if people talk behind my back, even if they're friends. People are like, did my friend say this? I don't care, because once again, <laughs> either what they said is true and I know it, or it's not true and they're just talking and that's that's on them. You know what I'm saying? If they're lying about who I am, that's a weakness. That that tells me they have too much time on their hands, they're uncomfortable with themselves, you know, they're probably maybe jealous or incompetent at something that I'm competent at. It doesn't bother me. Like someone that I'm friends with could literally be gossiping behind my back and lying. I don't I literally don't care at all. It's just like everyone's entitled to their opinions. Everyone's entitled to their flaws. Everyone's entitled to tell the truth and everyone's entitled to lie. It's not my problem. That's why I'm a one man team. None of this is my problem. I can, I can control my own life and anybody else that's, that's, that's making up stuff, you say I can't do it, I'll do it 10,000 times. And then the fact that you said I couldn't do it, it literally doesn't matter that you thought I couldn't do it two months ago and then I did it five months later. You get what I'm saying? Opinions 
literally don't matter and people spend way too much time and energy caring what other people think and say who cares someone said you should write a book if you had that's a book right there take that take that transcribe it put it in a cat in the hat that's a really weird children's book um i'm gonna write a i'm gonna write books eventually but i'm you know i'm i'm easing in on it i'm i'm chilling i'm you know when the time's right i'm still pretty young old to some young to some you know someone said how many politicians are in the